guess it's recording. Dad wrecked his car. Oh no. <laughs> okay. It's that time of year again. Dad tips. Zzz. And uh, pretend to be dead. Ah. Oh, hello. Spooning a moving box. And a panda. What are these dad tips? Build that dad, oh my god. <laughs> okay, what kind of bod shall my dad have? I don't get how these two, oh, the body hair is slightly different. I will be a slightly less furry dad. Oh, this is running slowly. Uh, chiseled dad. Oh, I don't think it likes this. Uh, rock the man bun. Uh, oh god, yes. <laughs> That's like my expression throughout this. Uh, what's the Waluigi is nose? Looks <laughs> like Michael Jackson there. Oh no. Yeah, sure. I'm picking these at random. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, that's, hor that's horrific. Ugh. Tongue out mouth. <laughs> Hamburger mouth. Kitty mouth. Kitty mouth looks good. Browse. <laughs> oh no, why is everything wrong? I'm picking these at random. That's even worse. <laughs> I actually like the like, Danny brows there. Facial hair. Yes. Or maybe. I like this one. Uh, this is not what I look like, by the way. I'm just inventing a human. I think that they take away from his crazy eyes <laughs> if we uh, c we cover them. So let's get a let's get a weird nose piercing going on. Yes, everything is golden. Oh, well, we have preset clothing. Okay, I'm glad that that's not a whole thing in of itself. Uh, this is supposed to run better on my Mac than my the pigeon dating simulator. So, yeah, sure. But unlike the pigeon dating simulator, I am not going to play this whole game. I don't have any witty or intelligent names to call this man. Swagwash. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have no idea what this is about. I've seen an LP like 
years ago and then someone gifted me this for my birthday and I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm just going to play it a little bit. <laughs> Captain. Ahoy hoy. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, looks like I did a pretty good job. Box is sealed. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Uh, backstory is in this box. I pull out the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. And So I'm officially a bisexual daddy in this. Great. Man, I wish I could rock a man bun still, but I haven't got the hair for that anymore. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that didn't go well for me. <laughs> I used to have so much hair. Uh, and now it's like, all going. The fact that my daughter looks nothing like the character, kind of like, I have blonde hair and I look like crazy. <laughs> Princess Dragon. <laughs> you saw yourself in the mirror and realized you're afraid of dragons. This is Kids 101, by the way. Sometimes you find yourself when you're teaching, saying things to a kid. And being like, suppose, thinking they, they don't understand what, like, supposition is. So you say something, they just think it's going to happen right now. The zombie's coming. You show them one scary photo and they burst into tears. It's like, it's Halloween, bitch. <laughs> Look at the skeleton. Loser. <laughs> I want to do this. Are you sure? Yeah, I totally won't cry cries. And you're like, I told you. I told you. Oh no. My daughter's uh, that kid. Oh no, she's that weird psych psycho daughter that you know at every school there's that one chick who's just fucking obsessed with horses and you're like Why? <laughs> there's always one crazy horse girl. And then there's very often the 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 one that's less talked about on the internet, crazy dolphin girl. There is always one girl who's obsessed with dolphins, and you have no idea why. Sir Horsington. Hey man, don't diss fucking Scar. Ouch, kid. This communist manifesto. <laughs> had a chance back in the day. I have friends who like Scar, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not a huge fan, but like, I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. It's Emma P. I'm shipping you two for later. If I'm gay, everyone's gay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, that's Emma R. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, fine. I don't care. <laughs> I just met you, lady. Apparently. She pooped her pants during a sleeper. <laughs> okay, good. That was me. I did that. Oh. Oh. Well, I found out. Oh yeah, I'm your dad, so I would find out. <laughs> oh god, I'm bad at parenthood. Uh, I gotta show this, uh, she'll get a kick out of it. Ah, oh, look, you, you're not a crazy horse girl and you're actually good at something good. Hey, got us a 20 book Fridays. Chicken for days. Cheesy toast starter blasts. To be fair, they... <laughs> food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle him like popping up in the corner like that. 
McFridays. Is that like TGI Fridays mixed with McDonald's? I went straight for chicken for days, but yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> you can choose. You were born. It's kind of a funny story. <laughs> Does this have a tragic backstory? I miss her. Can't imagine what it's like without her. She pats me on the back. Uh, yeah, where is the, the waifu? And why are we now chasing after men? Is she was she like is she dead or have I was she just so bad that I turned gay? Or am I bi? And I was just like, well, I tried it. And now I got a daughter, and uh, I just want to kind of try something else. Like, I guess I'll invent my own backstory for this man, this strange googly-eyed man I've invented. Uh, hard to believe you bought this place almost twenty years ago. Oh yeah, I remember that. You always were, Goku. <laughs> you broke a lot. We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> Yay! My daughter's a delinquent. The only acceptable thing for my child to ever be. If my child isn't a fucking delinquent asshole, I don't want it. Stings a little bit to leave it behind. Why are we leaving it behind? The moving van vibrates the screen. Say bye bye house. So, so what? Sell me on our cool new pad. Oh no, I'm one of those dads who does the announcer voices. A two car garage. Garage being my final one, but two whole cars, as well as room for my very important dad tools. And my motorcycle. Yeah, my sick hog! The old steel pony, dad's little motor velocipede. Dad. The two wheel transportation station. Dad. I have never ridden a motorcycle in my life, to be honest, I am afraid of them. Oh! <laughs> it's also smaller than our last house. Cozy, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. We won't be close. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park, park downtown is, you know. Are you old enough to drive, lady? Little miss. I don't think I'm happy with my only daughter driving at this age when she breaks everything. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you don't need to learn how to parallel park. That's just showmanship. No one actually uses that. That's wasted data, if you ask me. <coughs> like knowing the plot lines to a pigeon dating simulator. <laughs> if you ride a motorbike, you never have to parallel park. Just dump it wherever, basically. And they're, like, really good fuel economy. So, so fucking at me. Yeah, quiet neighborhood. I'm gonna have to chase around any teens off my lawn. Ah, oh, you're the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. <laughs> I like this kid. I like this kid. She's she's a good kid. I thought she was annoying because she was a horse girl, but now she's 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 all right. You're a real. Don't you dare. Senior. I know where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Cause item number one on the new house agenda. Well, first of all, I need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes. It's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer driver. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, Coolio Jets. Yeah, we we'll explore the neighborhood. Not, not a complete. Like, I'm a cool dad. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a cool dad. <laughs> like. God, I wish I had that much hair now. <laughs> oh. 
I'm less cool than an invented creator character with those eyes. <laughs> Check the area out. Lawn is freshly mown for sale. Hiya. Oh. I was gonna do that. Nice form, sweet pea. Oh, you are my daughter. You are my daughter. Yeah, fuck the system. I'm so proud. <laughs> like, is this daughter just me? <laughs> like, I need a sandwich, an ice cream sandwich, sweetie. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> I need some coffee. The old bean juice, so I'm going to be useless all day. The fact that you call it bean juice is fucked up. Tea is leaf juice, coffee is bean juice. Therefore, both are soup. Deal with that information. <laughs> Let's do it. Then skip the corners. Or down street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could drink just better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Spitting facts. Spitting, especially nowadays. I have better coffee at home. <laughs> like... And I have a nicer couch, and there's no people staring at me because I'm foreign. Some random guys in color come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird about it because he's technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad, what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? You set it up at the counter? Or do you leave it there? Or there's a few of like consider possibly that there's a fat of bin somewhere outside and you're that jerk who left the mug. Dad. <laughs> Are you afraid of people? Hey, you're not my mom, daughter. <laughs> yes, Amanda. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, hello, friend. Oh, sweet, he's got tattoos. Shame they're those kind of nondescript hip hipster tattoos that aren't anything other than a tattoo for the sake of getting tattoos, but hey, man, they don't always have to mean everything. Kind of reminds me of a vegan cafe in Bristol that I used to go to. Uh, it's a woman inviting vinyl records. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got any maiden? <laughs> Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? Your face is too long, sir. <laughs> What's it, the name? Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Mentioned this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them this same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, so I'm getting more and more comfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Relatable ellipses, ellipses. So, what'll it be? I scan the chalkboard menu because it's obviously one of those places with the chalkboard menus. Right there. I'm overwhelmed. I'll have a... Godspeed you, black coffee. Chiant word. Ice Tegan and Sarah. I don't like Diane word anymore after all of the fucking scandal that came out about them basically all being rapists. So, yeah. I, I can't with good... And that's the only reference I'm getting here, because I'm stupid, so... And I like black coffee, so fuck you. Oh. You are a coffee shop, so you shouldn't get horny every time a guy orders a coffee. I mean, I guess it... I mean, if it's your passion, but, like, that's a little too direct. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a palm. Godspeed you, Black Emperor is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes. Oh, I've been out of prog for a while then. I'm doing the thing again. I mean, I know some prog, but that, that never came up. Macchiato DeMarco. Yes? My cat is joining in. 
small, medium, or biggie smalls. Why is only big getting a... You've got to think of puns for everything. You either go full pun, or you don't pun. You can't go in half cock, sir. Medium. <laughs> is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Notorious B.I.G. is right on the fucking table. I mean, like... Hmm. I miss coffee shops like this. They don't do them right in China. Look at all the lovely, delicious cakes. I miss Bath and Bristol. Um, take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? You know, his deal. They make his puns. I call the bands that you listen to anyway. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> hey. 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 Scar was cool once. Good lumbar support. <laughs> Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. Place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to people as you are. Yeah, I should make friends, but, you know, I'm an antisocial weirdo. Stop talking directly to me, game. Uh, I don't know. Come on. Meet new people, you nerd. I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside. <laughs> also, don't talk to people. Making progress. I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi. Why is everyone in every dating simu simulator like this huge fucking loser <laughs> and can't talk to anyone? Like, I know it's supposed to be relatable, but actually in real life I can socialize with people I just very often choose not to, and I now sound like I <laughs> am yeah. the problem. Nah, I just fucking hate people. <laughs> I'm actually really good at making people laugh and like making them happy. It's just that I often find myself going, uh, I don't want to, I'm exhausted now and go home. <coughs> anyway, this is my dad, Captain. Right on. Yeah, I was named Captain. That's my birth name. Daughters hanging around the shop, you two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Hey, why meow? <laughs> you joining in? Fresh plate of something. Banana bread. Oh, I like banana bread. is just me. She knows the game. I raised her right. Time to play the game! <laughs> Nana bread. I told her well. We have trained. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. <laughs> right, yes, that. <laughs> I mean, like, this is good, like, you know, like, these kind of like visual novels live and die by their like text and their like personality, so it's pretty good that they're actually like, you know, we chow down. The secret ingredient is bananas. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I mean, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Grateful banana bread. Banana bread Kennedy's. Right said banana bread. I feel like banana bread Kennedy's is good. Like the punk band. Holiday in Cambodia. I mean... I'm hard dad. <laughs> that actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Yeah, banana bread Kennedy's. That's art, baby. I don't know how the punk band would feel about being used in merchandising, but fine. <laughs> Once I said it, I realized it didn't sound kind of good kind of eye. I leave baby to the professionals. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. See, it sounds good when you say it. Ooh. Oh, look, another man. This guy looks a little, like, more edgy. Brooding. He's the Vegeta of this plot, or the Akuma. Duang? 
I look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Now that we're full of caffeine, where to? I need a nap. We just had coffee. <laughs> Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Oh, his carrier pocket knife. Heavy footsteps, Captain, bro. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face. Hey, I know you. Your baby looks like startled by existence. Craig. I've never met a dude called Craig in my life. It's one of those names that sounds really common, but then you don't know anyone called Craig. Bro. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, you look great. Yeah, cleaned up my act. You had an act? Cleaned up his act. Are you kidding me? He's ripped. This is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello and hello, cute baby. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Everyone here seems to have a daughter. Everyone here seems to be a single dad that has specifically a daughter. That's a really weird thing. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude. River's my kid. See? It has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? To be fair, my kid's much older than yours, so... It's a bit of a time lapse there. It's working out in California. Just relo relocated my my startup. <laughs> no kidding. Amanda moved to this town. How's how's Smashly doing? I mean Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashly. I know we got the four. <laughs> Everyone's a single dad. Everyone with a daughter. <laughs> like, that's a very specific dynamic. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Old news. Yeah, fucking bitch took everything. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> you take turns taking care of River. Oh, you have twins, okay. It's all copacetic. I don't know what copacetic is. You have three kids. Ain't life sewing, bro, right? Kickstand Creek is a father of three. There's no such thing as Facebook, <laughs> or like, any social media. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's my old college nickname, I used to chug beer all day. You got it because you did a lot of kegs. <laughs> it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. <laughs> Just over explain. I hate to be that guy, bro, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and you know, I can't, gotta keep up that heart rate. She's, she, she's just resistance training. She's like, you know, weighted clothing, but a baby. <laughs> this guy isn't real. Like, I like him. He's amazing. <laughs> like, jog daily. I jog yearly. To be fair, my player character is pretty ripped considering I do fucking nothing. January 1st, when I promise myself I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, then give up after 30 minutes and walk home. It's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me. <laughs> I hate jogging. <laughs> it's like my least favorite in real life. Like, I, I would rather do skipping, because I don't have to go outside and be stared at. Like, I can skip at home and it's still good cardio. Uh, grab breakfast afterwards, catch up, we could do a bro brunch. Alright, sure, sounds great. Great, let's get going, soon. Better get moving, good to see you guys. Craig is a little wave, puts his earbuds in and jobs, on, job, jobs off. Craig is ripped and has kids, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is that? Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for anything, especially himself. I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. <laughs> He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing normal people do. <laughs> it's unholy. And then I asked him what he was doing. And he said it was basically just a smoothie, bro. <laughs> I mean, technically, 
he isn't wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a different human. Oh. Plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes so she can da da da. Too bad. We Who unpacked? We did. We just left. Too bad. We're gonna we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. Where are you going? I know. I know. It's just you're my little goyle. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit. I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. I promise. Of course. It'll be okay by your lonesome. Uh, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. <laughs> a dog! <laughs> get our store. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium sized dog, hang chief around the neck, get to name it. That's what it would cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. To be fair, that sounds pretty good. You know what? I'd like a bulldog. And like a big British bulldog, and he's like white and with like brown and black splotches, and like a like the usual <laughs> upper underbite thing going on. Yeah, and I'm gonna call him Bronson. Yeah, I'm that guy. Uh, well, it's better than Churchill. They always call Churchill or Winston. So, dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Ha ha ha! American school system is fucked. Pile of envelopes, life slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, shuffle, shuffle. This is from McGowan. Open it. I'm scared. It's just an envelope. <laughs> it's just like my entire future, not a big deal. Yeah, but it's like you're a photography major. <laughs> like, I don't want to be that guy, but like. 90% of people go into uni, do a certain thing, and then don't do the job. Like, we have a letter opener. But you're my child, so. Scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, it's reviewed your application, blah, 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 blah. Um, we. A face drops. No, regret Oh, no! Who do I have to shoot? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, child. It's okay. It's not okay. Just want to see portraits or whatever. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Oh, I kind of feel sad for this imaginary character I just met five minutes ago. Oh, it's fine, child. Are you fine or are you not fine? I'm fine, really. On a scale of one to fine. Turn that frown upside down. Tell your face that you're fine. Before, after... It's sleeping over. So, pillow fight? You need me out of the way because I'm uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll uh, have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick thinker plans. <laughs> <laughs> I am secretly the mayor of this town. Go, Tony. I'm going clubbing. Put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. Lil Mo, the sprinkler, the running man, you know the ones all the kids these days are doing. Alright, but I'm not going to come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go out and watch... The game? Go to bed? Stay home, finish unpacking? I should, but I'm not going to. Oh, shit. Nice. Which game? You know, the game. <laughs> the one that's on tonight. The game on TV. It's somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson. Oh, that's my daughter. <laughs> I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. I'm a street rat, Pops. Why is my daughter fucking cooler than me? <laughs> You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yes, Dad. Oh, you're not holding. Let's make sure. 
pat on the head, have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> no, making fun of sports is played out. Alright then, I'll do some light cleaning and then decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. But we just got here, you have a new English teacher. Alright, Mr. Vega. Does he have a claw? Totally remembered. I'll be there. I did not remember. <laughs> Maybe they have a fun night. Doorbell rings. Just about to head out. Open it. Hola! Oh, well, I hate you. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. I know it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies, and I just can't have all of these in the house, or I'll eat them all. Your figure tells me that you don't eat cookies, sir. <laughs> oh, I hate preppy people. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Yeah, he has this voice. That's kind of mean to James from Team Rocket, but he sounds like James from Team Rocket. Oh yes, hi, I'm Captain. I'm the Captain. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd do the neighborly thing and bring you some. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, but between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. We both share a lot of kids, right? Now nah, my kid's probably gonna out bake your kid, bitch. <laughs> Amanda pokes her head and immediately hones in on the cookies. That's my daughter. Cookies her. You just had banana bread. So nice to meet you. Dwang. Well, thanks for the cookies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my daughter. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are tough. Children are tough. <laughs> I'm. Uh, let me guess, you're going for a divorce? I hear that, I mean, there'd, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> oh, uh, I meant... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor of man. My social life is in a tailspin. One of us too late to move again. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Like, if you're like one of those church-going types, with your golf sweater thing going on, then can you just leave? Is the missus around? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> just throw that out there. <laughs> Jeez. Not anymore. She died. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> for your loss. Fair enough. That's that's literally how I cope with a lot of things. People like when people say to me, "What happened to X?" Oh, she's dead. And just like they all go, "What? What?" I'm, and I'm like, "Why are you upset? Like they're dead. <laughs> like you being upset doesn't change that. <laughs> like you know what I mean? When if that ever comes up, I'm just very blunt with it and." <laughs> Like this person. No, it's fine, like it's uncomfortable. But everyone's more upset than you are because you've made it past the grief point. You've made peace with it and you've put it away. Like, you know, you've had a long time. It's personal to you and you've had time to meditate on that. And then you're just like they seem to think that you should be in permanent grief for the rest of your life. And it's like, yeah, you do care about those people, but they're dead. Like, you know, and that sucks, but you need to keep moving forward. And like they act like, oh god, you must be permanently in grief. It's like, well, no, I've got to be alive and do things. So, yeah, no, I can't sit here and go, yeah, dead, forever wearing black, with a veil, weeping constantly. Like, I just, like, you know, just gotta move on. So then quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we made things. I have made everything awkward. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. 
After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening, I see him standing there with a smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. <laughs> I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac. That sounds great. My daughter and Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands and seal the deal. Well, you have a wife, so, like, they're not all just single dads. Sure thing, Niburino. Oh god, he's Ned Flanders, I just realized. Hey. In all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy if you ever need to talk about stuff. Oh, he does go to church. You're not baptizing my kid. They've raised Satanist. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> You're pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Stop hitting on me. You've got a wife. <laughs> he seemed nice. He seemed pushy, Amanda. We've talked about this. Don't trust the church. <laughs> Even if they give us cookies. You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. You didn't leave me warm? I thought we were friends, man. Makes you feel better they weren't good. So you ate all of them anyway. The Emma's helped. Ah. Oh. Yeah, they're here. I'm gonna go catch that game. Have fun, Dad. <laughs> Esports, I'm going... Bird in the hand is better than the bird in the eye. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. Along with go ahead and eat that horse. When you fall off that horse, you get up and you eat that horse. <laughs> and also my other new favorite, we will burn that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use a GPS on my phone. How old am I? <laughs> I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk. Actually, this is how I do things when I'm at like, places. Just go wandering, because it's like it's a new place, you know, you stumble across stuff, often you find the best things stumbling across them. And some of the worst, but... Any game. Let's go find some game. Distance could it be? Jim and Kim's. Oh no, not the dive bar. Ah, oh, it's pretty nice on the inside. It's a pretty divey dive. I like this dive vibe. Dive vibe. Bar is small. The crack of pool the patrons. The multicolor Christmas lights. I need some fairy lights in my apartment. What'll it be? One brr, please. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> we cannot name beer. <laughs> We, a beer, please. Sure, here is beer. I receive beer. Beer is refreshing. Are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. <laughs> oh. Everything I do is awkward. Hey, I'm here to date dads. You're a mum. <laughs> Out of my face, woman. <laughs> oh, and she's Christian too. This is going great. Getting all the Christians. Are you his wife? What are you doing in a bar? Holding, she got a wine glass. This place doesn't look like it does wine. It looks like the kind of place, if I'm receiving unbranded beer, I'm going to go ahead and guess that they have two kinds of wine, red and white. <laughs> hey, sailor. Oh, you know my name is Captain? <laughs> See fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Uh, yeah, I just moved here. I'm Captain, so quite accurate with the sailor remark. Are you watching the game? <laughs> what is this? My preferred team is in the lead. They'll win the game with ease. I love the team of that game. <laughs> of someone who knows their ways around 
balls. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that she's drunk. Uh, buy a gala drink. Like, Mary, Mary, what are you doing? Mary, go home. <laughs> I don't want to be impolite though. Mm, fine. Here, I just ordered you another glass of the the capitalized wine. Neil jokes, they're clearly friends. This isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. I suppose I gotta keep you company now. So what do you wanna know? What's your deal? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the game? They really are tossing those balls around, huh? <sighs> those are the right eyes. <laughs> Truth told, I wasn't really paying attention. I saw a solid ball joke and went for it. Ah, that's respectable. What else can you tell me about this part of town? It's quiet. One idyllic little life of white picket fences is a place to do it, but every town has its secrets. Murder cult, murder cult, murder cult, murder cult. She was very ominous. Murder cult! like to learn my secrets. Uh, <laughs> friend, I'm new here. Suit yourself, sailor. Captain, it's Captain. Uh, does that Joseph, if that's his wife, if that's his wife, does Joseph know if he does this? They have four kids. Mary, sort your shit out. I mean, I don't know what he does behind closed doors, but like... Affirmative grunt. Go team! Hey, dude! That's a jacket that I actually own. This guy gets it. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, he must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I say that my team is superior. This was written by somebody who doesn't know what sports are. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. My team is beating yours. The conversation ends there and we go back to silently rooting for our teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. In the end, my team prevails. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, random guy who's cooler than me. <coughs> The man drinking whiskey. <clears throat> he raises his in response. Unspoken truce is formed between us based on our mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. Name's Robert. Oh my god, it's Rob. Rob! <laughs> I'm Captain. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best part in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is it actually a Jim or a Kim? No, that'd be Neil. <laughs> what is this? this sounds like a scene from Hot Fuzz. Uh, not enough Neils in this world. Oh, okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. I'm a tequila fella. You like shots? I like shots, I love shots, all shots fired, I don't like them. Yeah, I like shots. Thank you. Robert Noster Neal. Here's to your health. We take the shots, shots. Whiskey burns, but I try my hardest to look like a cool guy so he doesn't think I'm a huge nerd. Hey, I'm making a friend! Okay, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think we play our cards. He has a hand tattoo. Neat. This cool leather jacket. Well, to be fair, all of these. I like a tattoo. What does it mean? It's... Oh, no! He's angry. No, I'm sorry. I just love tattoos. Oh, He's mysterious and cool as a reminder. Way cooler than I am. No, I always ask about people's tattoos. It's my thing. Damn it! What are you doing here tonight? Trying to make friends. <laughs> my daughter kicked me out of the house. Running from my problems. 
Oh, you like people who are just like max painting it up. I, oh, that makes sense. Be right back. Got a powder my nose. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Heh. <laughs> yeah. He has a gruff charm to him. It's pretty cool. Robert comes back from the bathroom, grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You headed my way. Hey, this goes cool. We should start a band together. I live in this cul-de-sac, by the way. Everybody lives here. Me too. We just finished unpacking. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house. He's just a few houses away. Why aren't you my neighbor rather than old preppy boy? Like, you're cool. We can hang out. Like, that guy is just so Ned Flanders. But Ned Flanders is cool secretly. <laughs> like, I don't kiss and tell, Captain. So are we doing this or what? What? <laughs> like, you know? Wanna come inside or not? Um, we just met. <laughs> Lay it on smooth? Well, I don't see why not. That sounded smoother in my head. Let's do it! Fucking hell. Uh, like, to be fair, when I think a guy's cool, I just like, oh, he's kissing me. Holy shit. Come on. That was like the fastest. I didn't think this was this fast. I, I remember someone saying in a comment to this video that this guy's like the hardest guy to like get with because you have to do very specific things. And like, I was like, oh, that's a shame. He's a cool guy. I, uh, I don't normally do this. <laughs> do you want to stop? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Oh, is that it? You live like this, dude. Uh, oh, right. I look around for Robert and find myself alone. Hello? <laughs> That was fun. Yeah, it was. You, sh you should go. <laughs> Say no what I was expecting. Well, uh, I mean, sure, talk to you later. Robert cracks a smile. Sure, your clothes are over there. <laughs> Sun is very bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home. I suddenly remember, Amanda, fuck. <laughs> my daughter. Bad dad. Amanda, I hooked up with a random guy. <laughs> oh, she looks disappointed. Oh man, I was kind of hoping you'd gone kidnapped and I was going to have to come to rescue you. No, I uh, made a friend. <laughs> I slept over at his place. Where are the Emmas? <laughs> they left a while ago. Uh, you guys have fun. Yeah, watch movies, eat snacks, stole a car, you know, use your sleep and stuff. You teens and your larceny. So, uh, this breakfast that's cooking, what's that about? Uh, well, there's hash browns and eggs and bacon. Can I? Yes. You can have breakfast. It's... <laughs> it is your house. <laughs> Bless you, sweet child. My head throbs. I do something about the hangover. Amanda, your loving father might have overdone it last night. Oh, somebody's hungover. Father of the year. You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin or... I've got just the drug. Just got pickles. Amanda, what the fuck? Drink this. The pickle juice. Yeah. That's what I used once. Uh, would assume someone would use... I would also assume that it works pretty well. Although I've never tried it before and won't try it, obviously. <laughs> this better work. No, no, more than that. Way more than that. I mean, I assume. <laughs> Watch it, you. <laughs> My doll is cool. 
Now I want to be a single bisexual dad with a cool daughter. <laughs> or just, like, have a cool daughter. <laughs> I drink more pickle juice and help myself to the delicious breakfast. I inhaled some things. It started to feel a little better. Well, gotta get to class. Don't forget the meeting with Mr. Vega. He said it was important. Love you. I'll be there. Knock him dead, kiddo. Oh, what if Mr. Vega's Robert? Always do. <laughs> do a secret handshake. Yeah, I should probably get in the shower. <laughs> oh, bright orange visitor sticker. I'm barely awake. Uh, hopefully, Harvey won't notice. Check my watch. Two minutes late. Was it room 103 or 108? Spot a youth. <laughs> Excuse me, youth. Do you know where your teacher's classroom is? The youth. This hot topic motherfucker <laughs> looks up at me. Jeez, oh, do you even know who my chemical romance are, oh, man? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I knew them before you did. I'm older. <laughs> Shut up. Cooler than you. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know, have you tried to exit? Okay, wise guy, you wanna get hooked or what? Like, <laughs> oh, you're so cool. Like, dude, I was you. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, this guy wouldn't understand. Bitch, I am still you. I listen to heavier metal than you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You don't even know how to apply corpse paint properly, you poser. <laughs> uh, the punk youth. That is not punk. That is try-hard poser. Low rent Gerard Way. This guy wishes he was like... 30 seconds to Mars. <laughs> like... Lucien. Don't you have a third period to get to? You look like you have a similar jawline to a lot of the other characters. Hey, Mr. Vega. Wow. <laughs> now I'm ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. You must be captain. Period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Uh, I'm just going to say I'm a teacher. I do not approve of this dress style he's got going on. What is with the mustard and brown tones? I'm gonna get stuck in this desk. Yes, Colin. <laughs> Fart noises. You know, the hardest thing about teaching students is pretending that you don't find everything that they do hilariously funny, because then they're like, no, if you laugh at them, it encourages and enables a class clown. So it's the hard thing of sitting there and just going like, trying to keep a straight face as they do something legitimately hilarious. <laughs> and you're sat there like, I'm not laughing. I am not laughing. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You can't even swear at them. <laughs> so you have to sit there and go. Well, this is one time. Hang on. <laughs> Remember to do the reading and answer the response. Nobody's listening. Or not, I guess. Yeah, that's teaching. One time I was reading a Lego book. Like, it's a Lego, like, short story book. And one of the Lego characters gets completely covered in milk from a cow, but it's literally just a white tidal wave hitting this, hitting this Lego figure. And one of my students said, I don't think this is appropriate for class, sir. And I just look at him and say, why? <laughs> like, and he's like, he just turns bright red and says, no reason. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, it's just milk. I mean, whatever white fluid could it be, child? <laughs> whatever white fluid could it be? Explain to me what white fluid could be hitting this Lego person in the face. <laughs> T 
tell all your peers. Come on, explain what internet sites you've been looking at. That kid did not ever say anything ever again. <laughs> Don't you teach high schoolers both, you know, budget cuts? Oh, yeah, I know that. Reminds me of that time I nearly got a job in the Dominican Republic and they asked me to teach, like, three year groups at once, and I was like, that's... I don't have experience for that. <laughs> uh, Mr. Vega, Hugo Vega, I'm upset you're not wearing the mask and the claw. Uh, yeah, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her behavior. What's going on? She's never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. Senioritis. This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't crossed my mind that something might be wrong. Yeah, I'm concerned. Just wanted to ask. We just moved. See if you could talk to her about it. Oh, okay. Hey, don't tell me how to raise my kid. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'm making sure she should talk to the, the Amanda's the panda. Thank you for letting me know. Anytime. On my way out, I'll stop thinking for a moment. I turn to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Yes? They ever catch that right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay. I leave the classroom, made my way to school, and I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force of positivity, especially after we lost her mother. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home, and maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Pull up to the carpool. And the hops in. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So you talked about Mario Batali the whole time. It's a very productive meeting. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. We have food at home. Let's go to the mall. Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez, can't a dad take his daughter to the mall? Can you buy me things? I will buy you a thing, singular. Sounds like a deal. Hey, you're a good kid. <laughs> you know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. That's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do, and that's okay, but also sometimes it's good to have their parents' perspective because you know maybe the parents have also dealt with that same situation. And maybe they're cooler than you think. It's good to share. Have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter. <laughs> what? Never mind. Not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senior writers and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vegas' class. It's fine. He's fine. Pull to stop by and I am. She's still texting. Just, I want to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh huh. I can tell that whatever is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I heard about Emma Oz going to the fancy school art, art school. Exciting. Yep. Are you bummed? You're going to the same school. Yep. Thanks for bringing it up. No, she keeps texting. She stifles a lot. What's so funny? Is it your boyfriend? Is it your girlfriend? When do I get to meet her? Okay. You can show me memes and I won't ask who it is and give you a free hour lecture. I know what a meme is. <laughs> Who you texting? Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Does he go to your school? Yeah. Do you like Noah? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> dad. <Ugh. laughs> I can't believe you were dad. I don't know this person. I mean, jeez. Why would you? Ugh. <laughs> Gross. Sorry, sorry, just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Okay, okay, jeez. Jeez. Jeez, this is going well. Well, good talk. Love you. 
turns up the radio to the mall. <laughs> Moving pictures is the best rush album. Uh, uh, anyway, to be fair, it's a pretty good album. Not enough people talk about Vital Signs. Vital Signs is a sick, sick, a sick track. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it is quite an old album. I get it. Uh, it's kind of dead. Loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. Language, Missy. Heck yeah. Butter. Hail Satan. Nobody looks happy to be here. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? Takes my hand with a grin. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We order a giant pile of chips. These are bad. Also strangely delicious. You have to eat through the pain. Fluorescent cheesy goodness. So, something's been bothering me. Can you explain <laughs> memes to me? I was just talking about how I know memes. Which meme? All memes! <laughs> it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all us youths have already done the joke to death. What's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out, so it just dates it and isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> Dad, please. <laughs> Changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to that golf store that used to be metal and is now just for Harley Quinn poses? And the e-girls, what? No, you know the one. Cold subject. <laughs> you know the one that's all black? It's an exact representation of the establishment, but it's anti-establishment. Bet they never burn a church down. So what? <laughs> um, I don't know what store you're talking about. You know, the one where you could buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements in the 70s and 80s. Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. Now, let me just say, I have actually never been in a hot topic because there really isn't that much of a hot topic scene. There are independent stores in the UK. And let me just say, I bought a few t-shirts from HMV, but they were like nerd t-shirts, like Bane, or like, you know, something like that, like a Batman t-shirt, like an Akuma t-shirt, that kind of thing. And let me just say, you really could just go to a fucking concert or a festival and buy the merch there. Why you gotta stop supporting the fucking band? <laughs> like, go to the fucking concert, buy the t-shirt. They're unique at the fucking concert. Do you like music or are you just posing on the internet? Jesus. Go on the band's website. Become a fan. Download shit. Like, get it off their website directly. I got Megadeth shirts from Megadeth's site. I got Iron Me. Okay, I'm shut up. <laughs> I'm so proud. Speech. Amanda. Speech. Speech, speech. All right, I'll do it if you stop chanting. Amanda stops it. I clear my throat. Thank you all for joining us here today. Commemorate a star that will forever shape history. On a day for some five years ago, very Amanda. Swag wash. <laughs> <laughs> Too much blue raspberry sitting out into the mall. Begging her father to take the dead golf and beyond. That's good. Rainbow suspenders. Although just play My Chemical Romance. They're really ripping into My Chemical Romance. Like, they're fine. I never dug them. But then again, I used to dig Green Day. That was a weird time. Hey guys, do you remember the Rasmus? <laughs> Commando's mood. She begins clapping. Slow at first. Several patrons turn their head. 
one of them starts clapping. Hey, chain wallets. I had a chain wallet that was Triumph. Like, it had the Triumph logo on it. It was sick. This chain wallets, man. I miss that chain wallet. That shit was sick. It's when Paul Smith, Paul Smith of all places, had a partnership with Triumph and they had this sick leather bag with Triumph on it and they had a sick leather wallet with Triumph on it with a chain. Like guys in suits who fucking work in those kind of places are gonna be wearing a chain wallet. Fucking weird, right? Ironic. And let's see the band shirts. <laughs> cannibal bone party. I like cannibal corpse. Give me that. <laughs> okay, Castlevania. <laughs> I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Uh, I just when I bought this online, I said it was Victorian inspired. However, I received it. it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if you give a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. Oh god, he's like a male Karen. Marin. See, I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. <laughs> the response. He has coattails. I can't tell if they're Victorian or Edwardian. Here he comes. Hey, Datron5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. I love your hair. Cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So what's that guy's deal? Cashier rolls her eyes so hard. I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. So go to a historically accurate place. Like, Hot Topics are, like, not even, like, accurate to fucking bands anymore. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Or golf. <laughs> or metal. They're just ego shit. <laughs> like, I'm so mad. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so mad. <laughs> so salty. <laughs> Uh, they ruined it. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have a guitar shop now. I just want to get my hand on a Jackson again. Man, I should buy a Jackson. Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers is on. Your favorite, right? Oh, hell yeah. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Also, the trucks are haunted. <laughs> oh no, the ghosts have got control of the truck! I can't steer them on these damn ice routes! Let me use the EVP meter to communicate. Flint, we're about to die. Ah, almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying you're going to die. <laughs> That's because we're going to die, you idiot. This is art. Uh, starting arguments on the internet. Pointless. Okay, I'm gonna cut it there, if it lets me. <laughs> yeah, pause, 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 pause. Save. Okay, I'll stop there for the time being.